Welcome to my unboxing and first look. Oh, it fell. At the Fantex PHTC 9D LS. This is a low profile cooler from Fantex. And the last cooler we looked at from them was anything but low profile. It was like a huge like tower thing and came in a variety of colors. Let's see what they have to say for themselves about this one. So supports LGA 2011, LGA 1155, and 1156. It's low, wow, it's a low pro that's a low profile LGA 2011 cooler, especially given there's like six core processors on there. So their patented physical antioxidant thermal shield technology dramatically increases the cooling performance and reliability by deflecting thermal radiation from other heat sources. Non-toxic, able to withstand temperatures of up to 200 degrees. This is only 27 millimeters tall or 45 millimeters with a fan and compatible with small form factor cases with a 45 millimeter clearance. The three six millimeter heat pipes are aligned to ensure optimal cooling. I didn't even see the heat pipes. Okay, the PHF90 PWM premium fan uses U updraft floating balance bearing. I've never even heard of that before. So I guess that makes it quiet. Eliminates vibration and provides a simple solution for quiet and smart fan control. Takes only less than a minute to install thanks to the provided mounting kit. It only requires four screws. And made of high purity, ah yes, their thermal compound is uh, like a diamond compound, like something like an IC, um, ICS compound. Cold plasma spraying, spraying coating technology is a new innovative deposit that transfers heat onto corresponding metals at a more rapid rate. Enhances the thermal contactivity of the soldered connectors and whatnot and hoo-ha. Let's see what kind of a um, TDP it's rated up to. It looks like we don't... Ah, yeah, up to 130 watt TDP. So in theory, this thing can handle six cores. Updraft floating balance bearing up to so from 1,000 to 2,500 uh, RPM. And at 19 to 26 decibels is the actual rated thing we got going. So here's this floating bearing fan, which I'm sort of interested to check out. So I guess, so it's something to do with the actual force that it exerts down on sort of the, the air, lifts it a little bit, and reduces the overall friction. So that's sort of neat. I don't know how well that would work sideways or sideways or would it? Yeah, no, it should still move it away. So, okay. Here's a back plate for LGA 1155 and 1156. Very sturdy, very thick. That's about what you'd want. Okay, more, uh, more packing materials here. More accessories in a box. And let's see what we got. So I guess more mounting gear. So here is an accessory for presumably fan mounting. Okay. Next is screws for LGA 1155 and 1156. And finally, screws for LGA 2011. Then a nice big thing of included thermal compound. Very nice. Okay. Now we have, there we go, the heat sink itself, which is, okay, how exactly does this work? So there's, in theory, three heat pipes in there. Here, maybe you'll be able to see them a little bit better down there. So there's a thick base that has there, see, you can see that these aren't just bare metal. These have that coating that they're talking about that apparently reflects heat away from this and then also allows heat to be conducted more, uh, more better sort of off of them by the air. So you mount this just by using the included bits and pieces. So you kind of have it on there. And they're saying, that they're saying this thing's capable of cooling a six core. The base is uh, machine smooth. So you can do the obligatory sort of finger shot here thing. And then uh, it's a sort of a raised base and then attached to the larger base that actually also acts as a mounting plate. And this sort of merits some, uh, some testing at some point in the future here, guys, to find out how well this could handle something like a six core. Because, I mean, in something like our shuttle PC over there that has an extreme edition in it, something like this, if it performs better than the included cooler, could be absolutely amazing and would make more space for cable management and for cooling of other components inside the case as well. So thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at the Fantex PH. TC 90 LS, which is a low profile file cooler for Intel sockets. It also includes a little instruction manual here that gives you all the information you need about how to install the fan clips and all of that good stuff. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.